So, so I just had, I had a bait on chasing sharks. We did this on a big boat last year, mate. Yeah, so I got Hopefully, it should be as quick of a hookup as the last one. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're down here doing a bit of shark fishing again. Today, We've got the little red boat down here, and the plan is we got that to run baits out with. And the boys are gonna head down to East Woody and see if they can get us some more fresh baits. But first up, we're gonna run the, we've got a bit of Mackie on, we're gonna run that bait out, and then um, see if we can get a bit early today. We might have a shark fish later on into tonight too. We're just gonna start off in the day and see how we go. Yeah, the boys are gonna run the bait out in the little red boat, and then, um, yeah, see what happens. Hopefully we get bit. And this is pretty much where it started going wrong. No major dramas really, we were just having problems with the boat, it wasn't really going properly, we weren't getting any momentum, prop wasn't really spinning under water, we weren't sure what the problem was. We kept pushing it out through the swell to try and get in deeper water, to try and work out what was going on. And we kept having to drag the boat all the way back up along the beach. But eventually we decided to bring it up and Cody had an idea on what the problem could have been. So we're rolling that footage now. Alright, so we've been having many boat problems so far this morning. For some reason it's like the shaft is spinning and it's all working properly, it seems to be, but we're just not getting spin on the prop. You bring it out of the water and with no resistance it's spinning, but for some reason it's not out of the water. So we're going to pull it out. There's a little pin Cody reckons on the inside that might be just gone, like just grind it off. So we're going to pull the prop off and see if that's what it is. Because it seems to be. Yeah, yeah it is. See that little pin there? She's like yeah. a pin that sits in this here. It sits in there and it keeps it spinning, but oh look, there's the two sides of it. It's broken off. It's just snap. Yeah, so that just goes in there, connected to like the dry shaft, and it slots into the prop there. And that's what makes it spin. Connects them both, and it spins the prop. But it's snapped We're trying to make it because that little shape in there is broken. We're trying to make a new one. We're going to try and cut this hook, but it's going to be a bit of an ordinary show. Come so on, Riley. Put a bit of a flat spot in them pliers. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even see a dent, eh? We might have to go back and grind really? it. You could use that. Like yeah, but it's not. Yeah, but we, we're going to get one. That's strong. Get another one. Another one. No, Josh, just cut it. I'm just making it a little bit longer. Yeah, I know. But I'm just getting it moving. Josh. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't know where he's pointing it, but he's trying. Riley the mechanic. It's upside down, but you Yeah, sure. All right, that'll do. Chuck it here, cut it there. That doesn't fit in, though. It's yeah. real loose. Try to get the length that you need.
Oh, made the fit. Perfect. But it, it'll last once it's got tension on it, it'll stay in the same spot. And the proper way spins the same way, so it's not like it'll have tension the other way either. We did this on a big boat once. Give it a crack, shall we? That's what we Do you want to tip this boat first? Huh? To push it out? Yeah, okay, okay. I'm already wet anyway. All right, so as you saw after there, after we got that new pin in that we've made, we decided we're going to give it a crack. We tipped all the water out, as you can see here, and then we spun it around and we started taking it out. We talked about it and we decided I was going to take it out and see, and just see, hopefully it was going to work, and then, we would, then I'd come back and grab the bait and run it out. We had to, only problem was the swell had started rolling in by this point, so it was a bit of a mission to get me out through the swell where I could get in deep water to get the motor in, but um, we sort of, everyone gave us a bit of a push, Riley had to come back out of here. I started getting washed back in and then once I got through the swelly I gave it a little paddle and then we got the motor down enough that I could get it started and then, yeah cruised out and we were going in the right direction. Josh is just hooked up. Still on. Drop it again. Come on, Josh. There's so much slack. We don't need. Could just be swimming in. Yeah, exactly. Sideways. Problem is, I have no tank. We could be here. Yeah, exactly. Look at that circle look like that. It should not tell. All I've got is just my let's go on orange. Oh, I walked in and okay. away. Yeah, this is it's on there, Michelle. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, I got wet cup weight now. I reckon all they're gonna do is chew it and that bait will be gone. So it's not much there. Yeah. Like it's just hanging on. Yeah, I got weight now. Now what was confusing me was I wasn't feeling head shakes or anything like that, but I had a fair bit of weight. So it was really weird, I wasn't sure what was happening, I thought it just could have been all that line out. So I just wound it all the way in, I wasn't sure what was happening, and I just kept winding, and as you'll see soon, come to a very interesting finding. There's the bait, I think. It's a hook that, who's going in the boat? No, I got something little. Have you? Yeah, it's pulling now. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Hey! What? What? It got shot! <laughs> That's a new bait! That's a big caddy! <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Explain it Josh. So okay. your bait. So, right, right. so I just had a, I had a bait on chasing sharks and the caddy's eating it. 
and then a shark has smoked the caddy. Big shark too. Pull it back out. Take it back out. I'll come. Jesus Christ. Keep the camera rolling or what, Kimmy? Are you going to put that on for bait now? Yeah, I should have put it on. Yeah, I'm not going to leave it like that. Woo! That's a big caddy. That would have been, yeah. Could have been on the power fishes. Instagram. Got the bait. It's over the snake thing, then it'll jump in. Yeah, you're right. Get up the front. Come on, you gotta hold that. Alright. Stay on the front one. You're alright, go in now. Go, Josh. Alright, Josh. Quick, quick, quick. What's that one? Uh-oh. Josh is just hooked up. <laughs> oh, blame me. Nobody step on my tower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it felt like that before I was being in the tank. <laughs> nah, it's dropped it. It's dropped it. There was more weight than that when you Alright, so pretty much that last catfish bait we had out got bit, but it pretty much just chewed on it. The bait was too big and it didn't get the hooks. So I swapped it out, it's got a bit of Spanish mackerel there. I think it's a bit of dried salted tuna, and then a little bit of, I think, tart or some sort of meat, just to get a bit of flavour in there for them, a bit of smell to get it out there. The boys are going to take it out in the red boat. I've upgraded our sinkers here, so we've got three big size 10 ball sinkers now, just so with that tide it doesn't, I suppose the tide's going out, but with the wind it doesn't really wash around and end up on the beach like the first bait sort of started washing around. So we're going to take this fella out and um, hopefully it should be as quick of a hookup as the last ones. Send him. Send him, fellas. Don't take that girl. Riley. I don't know how I'm supposed to... No! Push up! Come on, Cody. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Katie! <laughs> oh, hurry up! Really, bud? Come on. You, you know what makes me laugh? How many blokes drive around with lift kit on and then have low profile tires on? Is it still on? I think so. That's not me, so it's fine. <laughs> well, it doesn't have either. Exactly. No, nah, I don't think it is. I think it's just a little weight. I have 80s. Alright, maybe not. Nice. That's there. It's not very big. Alright, oh, oh, no, it's there, it's there, it's there. That's, that's gold. At least it's taking drag, not like a <laughs> catfish. <laughs> yeah, true. Maybe, uh, Maybe he does not talk yet. Put the ratchet on, mate. Sounds better. Oh, That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 
worst things to do on a Good Friday. <laughs> Stand in front of the Zane, the YouTube cameraman extraordinaire. Get the hook out and let him go as soon as we can. He won't hurt you, he's a shovel nose. Grab his tail. He's gonna be strong as him, but get it right. It's not a shovel nose. Anyway, grab him before he gets going. is better than two inch lift kit. Two inch all the way. Two inch lift kits every day. So, camera's been rolling 19 minutes, so that's about how long that took. That was pretty sick. Biggest shovel nose I've seen, and it's a very big shovel nose down here. We're super stoked with that. Playing it, hooking up, hook up another bait. Luckily, we've got a perfect little corner hook right in the edge, so it was easy to get out. And barbless, we squashed the barb, so popped straight out, so that was good. And yeah, we need to bait it up, send the boat back out again, and hopefully we'll be on again soon. Calm down a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you really saw what was happening there, but let's have a look at that again in slow motion. So pretty much what happened was when we came in, the bow went down, we sort of hit a wave on a weird angle, 
and a hit has come over the back. I had to jump out and I grabbed it and pulled the back down. It's the only reason we didn't flip. And as you can see, Noel just went straight ass overhead. Um, yeah, we couldn't stop laughing. It was so funny. And that was pretty much it for the night. We continued shark fishing for a few hours, but we had a few issues with the motor, as you saw just there. We are fixing the, um, that little pin again. We dropped a few sharks. We dropped a few baits. Just didn't really come off for us. And, um, yeah, that was pretty much the end of the night, really. Nothing much else happened. Hope you guys really did enjoy this episode. It'll be the last one from me. Cody will be editing a few now because I'm back out working again. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. Cody should be having another video out to you very soon. If you did enjoy, make sure you go down and smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, help us out heaps. Cheers for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.